justice for all. Open up this uh, April 15th evening commissioners meeting. We have the auditor, all three commissioners, and the county attorney present. Um, first on the agenda, we'll have a park view of the MSLP. Okay, last Friday, uh, the little select group of one commissioner, which was me, uh, Ron Dittman, county council member, Gail, and uh, Ritter Strategy, Ritter Services, put it that way. We met with Parkview Hospital, Hospital Parkview Health, um, on ambulance service, whether they was in, interested in ambulance service in Polk County. Um, I, they are, they are very interested. Um, they would like to partner up with us. So I think it'd be a good fit. They already got a helicopter out here some time to Woodlawn Hospital. So um, I guess short and sweet, so we need to, if you guys are okay with it, we need to give uh, Ritter, Barry Ritter, uh, permission to start the co contract negotiations with him. He, they didn't think it would be a long drawn out. They were gonna try to make it quick, two, three weeks, see if they couldn't get a contract hammered out between that and our attorney. So basically that's where we're at, unless you guys got any more questions. I'm good with it, okay. okay. You want a motion? Yeah. Comment. Yeah. Well, we'll go ahead. Okay. I'll make a motion that we give Barry permission to go ahead and start negotiations with Parkview. Yeah. I'll second that. Do I have any public comment on that? Anybody? They don't have to do an RFP or anything. No. Okay. Here is the uh, All in favor? Uh, motion carries three out. Yeah, Rick, thank you. Um, this time I'll open up a public hearing uh, for our alley vacation. And uh, I'm sure one of you gentlemen want to, is there anything, I'm glad you got it. anything new you want to add? To, well, they're all, the other two are here. So I don't know if they get anything. Okay. Is, any, is anybody here to speak on this uh, alley vacation? Or yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You can state your name and, and go ahead and stand up. It's Magdalene Norviso. I've owned that property for quite a while and I don't agree with uh, wanting to vacate Alley because I was told that if they vacated, I would get the back part of the lot and he would get the front part. And if he did that, he'd have to move the storage building that's built there. Have to move what? The storage buildings we have. Yeah. Yeah. I was told before that I owned up to his property, to his trailer, by the ones I bought it from. And then he had his survey, then, and nobody notified me anything about what's going on over here. I learned from Robert what was going on. I wouldn't even notify him. You never got notified? No. I get the tax bill for my. You should, should have got notified. I, I, got got I would have thought. Okay, so here. Uh, I apologize. You're Magdalene? Is yeah, that? I go Magdalene. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, so I mean, typically, how these any vacation like that, the, the alley or road or whatever split right down the middle. So each landowner would receive half of, of, the, of the alley, or in this case, the alley. So, because yeah. it shows. What happened to the building? It looks like it's that right button. Well, it looks like there's two sheds, right? There's one on. I got two on my side, and he's got one on his side. I was say, it looks like there's a shed on. Each side. Yeah. Um, so, so you're saying your shed sits on more than half the alley? Between his shed and my shed is 10 inches. So, um, where his property line is, my shed's okay. His his shed, where his property line was had surveyed, <coughs> where his shed, half of his door is on my side. But it wouldn't be if you vacated the alley and you split the alley, it would be on, there'd be a little bit on him. Is that what you're saying? Well, right now, it's my, it's, he's on my property, according to what he had it surveyed. If the alley was vacated? Yeah. So I would, I would prefer to leave it like it is. Because I got a lot of health issues and stuff going on, and I really, like I said, 
I know Hannah went to school with him and stuff. If we could work something out, that would be great. And just leave your thing like it is. Do you have copies of um, all the landowners that you've notified in the signature showing that? Um, I, I just got the paperwork. I didn't. I just I talked to her and I talked to him, and I didn't have nothing signed or anything. Um, do they typically, they typically sign the <coughs> right? Right. right. Um, I, gave her, I thought I gave her husband a okay. copy of this stuff. No, I said you talk to him, but he never got nothing either. He's not, he don't live with me right now anyway. But, but, but I, think, I think this process to move forward, Holly, am I correct? That, we, that, that the landowner has to give each landowner a piece of paper stating what they're trying to do and get a signature that they've received it. Right. right? Whether it's right. post, whether it's in the mail, they receive an order for the signature. So, right. I, I, so what do we do here? We're going to have to post, we're going to have to. Yes. And uh, then, we'll have to, then we'll have to have an, another meeting. And if whoever, if somebody doesn't care about it, then they don't have to appear. If she, if she is the one that's opposed to it, then she'll need to either object or come to the meeting. Okay. So are we starting from square one again because she did, he does have a signature from that way. Correct. Okay. Could you not take her presence in the meeting as accepting that as notification? Is everybody here that is connected to that? She's the only landowner listed that it affects. Yeah, because I assume you're Mark? Yep. Okay, so he owns the two properties. Okay, so she here. is the only one. There isn't yeah. anyone else. Yeah. And Robert. Okay, so yes, we can. Okay, all right, so then. And she's objecting to us, I correct? Okay. So for us to do anything, we need to push for a uh, table this until our next, I'm assuming evening meeting, so you guys can be here to the uh, Probably works out better for you. Yeah, I, I'm disabled. I can't work. Yeah. So, um, so there's really two alleyways there, right? Yeah. One, one at my property between mine and Robert's. Uh, yes. And then one that runs the length of my property through their property. Yes. And I heard Joe, Joe yes. said there was one back behind yes. too. They said there's three alleys. They, we only thought there was only the north and south, east and west. Cross their intersection. You got two and that's also one. one. And you're wanting to, well, you're wanting to vacate two alleys. Yeah. Yeah, because it says the 11 foot. So they're vacating this alleyway, <coughs> the north and south one, and the east and west one. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're. And her shed is yeah. on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's going to have to move something. Is that what she's saying? But you won't have to move yours, but you'll have to move his. You'll have to move his. <laughs> do, you, do you agree with that? That your your shed is all her, all, would be over your half of the yeah. alley? No, no. It's way, it's, way they, she must be uh, disagreeing with what the surveyor said was my property. Well, well, your property, they can have your yellow stake. Yeah. Um, no, there's a, a, the alley is from my stake towards your place. Yeah. So the alley is where your it's, shed is sitting. Okay. Well, at this point, I guess we can call it. Yes. We need to table this till our next meeting. Right. Okay. Are you okay? Clarification. Are you okay with the next uh, June? Yeah, just let me know what day and time. It's the third. Yeah. The third Monday in June at 6 p.m. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the one question I have is the alleyway that separates my two properties. Hold on a minute, Marlon. Oh, yeah. Call Holly. Holly yeah. That's what you got. And this is Holly. This is the brother road. Or this is the shed. Here's here's he's like this. Here's here's the contract. I would call when I called the office that I would get the road you need to ride it. He would get the primary road and I would get the next one. Yeah. Yeah. It goes down this way. So this is she? No, this is for me. So you get this. It's technically part of the square. So you You guys don't agree to that, do you? It goes down the middle. Like, yeah, it'll go yeah. east and west. Yeah. Yeah. So if it goes down the middle, then that will put your shed on your property and his shed back here. Is that it's how it's 10 inches between them? I got two sheds. 
wants to where he is, yeah. There's two the shed and there's on this side. Yeah, the shed's over here yeah. and it's yours. Yeah, this one is too. Okay. When the uh, we don't know what the survey looks like, so when he says there's stakes out there that is it on her property? The stakes on his property on one side of okay, the So your shed is safe. Yeah. But I still don't want it one. Okay, but your shed is yeah. safe, correct? That you know it's not this way. Yeah. It's this way. Does that does that does that change anything that since you know which You're welcome. what's the property line? No, I still like I said I I lived here all these years before I got sick and moved to Warsaw, I didn't know that um Mm -hmm. Noticing today. Okay. Yeah. Noticing today. And her shed is on her property. Yeah. Looks like those sheds. Yeah. Yeah. And mine's about this far. Yeah. They told me when I called to try and find out about this after you know I mean. Right. So I don't know who I talked to with, but they told me it was Allie. It would get this part up that way. I oh, would yeah. get this part that way. Oh, no, no. And then I don't know who I talked to when I split it down the half or down the middle. Does that change anything knowing which way it will be split out for you? You're a Are you still against it? Are you an engineer against it? I'm still kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's give it a month if that's okay. You and you, right. you can think about it. And yeah. That way you can just sit down or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Talk about it. Yeah. I'm moving. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we want to table that. I, I, uh, I would like to table this one more meeting. I do not have the terms updated contract that would be reduction of that. Okay. So I think we want to table that. Yeah. Make sure, sure we get the money. Well, it's one of ducks in a row that way. We're, I agree with you. Um, yeah. Okay, then I have the resolution for the uh, um, North Central Indiana Regional on their five-year comprehensive economic uh, development strategy. Okay, you guys had a chance to look at it over here. Okay. So we have, this is resolution uh, 0415-0024. Okay. So I have resolution 0415-2024 to the Fulton County Commissioners approving the 2024 five-year comprehensive economic development strategy, whereas the U.S. Uh, economic Development Administration, the EDA, requires the submission of a comprehensive economic development strategy to maintain eligibility for an EDA grant and loan program. Whereas the counties of North Central Indiana, Cass, Clinton, Fulton, Howard, Miami, and Tipton have engaged in a collaborative public planning process to update the region's CEDS. Whereas the North Central Indiana Regional Planning Council uh, Committee has received, reviewed the 2024 CEDS and find that it reflects the development needs of North Central Indiana. Whereas the 2024 says, the North Central Indiana shall serve as a regional st strategy for the six counties of North Central Indiana with each county's concurrent. Whereas the North Central Indiana Regional Planning Council Board of Directors approved the 2024 SEDS on January 9th, 2024. And whereas the counties of North Central Indiana have engaged in the, engaged the North Central Indiana Regional Planning to implement the SEDS and to provide other programs and services necessary for local and regional growth. Now, therefore, be resolved that the commissioners want to approve the 2024 SEDS to meet the eligibility requirements for the grant and loan program administered by the U.S. Economic Development Administration and, number two, pledge continued support um, to the North and North Central Indiana Regional Plan. There's one. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Do you have any questions on that? Any questions? Okay, here we go. I entertain a motion to approve resolution 0415 So moved. Second. All in favor? Motion carries. Here we go. Travel request. 
you guys had a chance to look those over? Yep. Mm -hmm. Questions, concerns? No, other than the one travel request I will abstain from. Okay. We have a, uh, uh, okay. a travel request from Vital Records for Carrie Ranstead. Uh, I think wish to do that. So moved. I'll second. All in favor? Carries 2 0. We're with abstain. Then we have uh, one for uh, the courthouse security supervisor, Guido, uh, Wyatt, health department, Denise, and the health officer. Can you make a motion to approve those travel requests? So moved. Second. All in favor? The motion carries 3 0. Sign those after also. Okay, department updates. I would. You're 30, John. You're a long time ago. I can't. Try to keep you on your toes. Good evening, John. Good evening. First thing I have is a permit request. It's, uh, Permit 2416, it's from Samuel Swartz. Uh, he's asking permission to put a 10 inch, uh, or a 10 inch uh, conduit underneath the road at 6159 North Lakeshore Drive, uh, Macy, down the name of the lake for an electrical conduit. Uh, and in total, on the road and in the right of way, there'd be 35 feet. And if John Flex went down and this one, everything's in order. Okay. Okay, we entertain a motion to approve permit 2416. So moved. Second. Okay. Ready to vote on that. Any questions, anybody? Mike? All in favor? Here's three of them. Uh, so, of course, the guys have been hashing holes, uh, running the brush cutter, and changing culverts. We just got done changing the big one down the fold last week so um, update on uh, community crossings and federal aid uh, federal aid project for old 31 south right now that's uh, Finn and Brown's got the paving contract for that and I believe they're going to start sometime in May so yeah, we're at there uh, old 31 north we was awarded that here uh, a month ago, uh, the RFP will be going out for that this week. It's red up, waiting for uh, uh, to release that. So that's a 29, 28, 29 days. Yeah, yeah. that will be five years out. Are, and you, are you still going to hit those, knock those bumps off the way? Planning on putting it in this year's program. Not paying them off and then check them. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to do some work. I'm going to grab the hand for one thing. The striking is getting real bad. Yeah. It's not too bad this time of year, but you get late in the year in the winter, dark. Yeah. Dark is already pretty soon. It's a hard one. Um, Bridge 33, there's not really a whole lot to report there, but Bridge 161, um, get the right away issues resolved there and with the utility companies and on the east side, so I think we're going to be okay on that, stay on the schedule, is what they might. Um, community crossings, uh, we've got it advertised to open up bids on May 6th for that. Uh, and um, I want to talk to you about State Road 14, the road closure between uh, State Road 17 and State Road 35 over at Winnemac. I had a meeting with NDOT, uh, EMV Paving, and uh, Pulaski County Highway. We met uh, this last week. Um, they're going to be closing that. It'll start around May, the 1st of May. And for about the first 30 days, they're going to have a hard closure. They're going to close down a mile at a time. There's 20 culverts in there that they're wanting to change out. The EMB will be changed now, and they plan to change each one within three days. But there's several 
so you have a mile close for three days and then they'll move on down to close another <clears> mile for three days. Yeah. So, okay. Roughly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and in the meantime, then they're going to do their deep milling and patching in there at that time. And then when they actually pave the road, it will be one lane traffic with flaggers. So there's going to be about a 30, probably 45 day time span in there where the road's going to be closed off for the most part. And then their, their official detour is to run up north on 17, up to 10, and across, and then back down to 35. So it's quite a ways out. Uh, so NDOT wanted us to come up with an official detour. And of course, we need to work with Glasgow County on that because, you know, whatever we send them west on, they're going to go into Glasgow County on and vice versa. So what we're thinking is uh, our 550 South, which is a Star City blacktop, and it would be 550 South of Glasgow County as well. We'd run them south, look down to that, and then over it's a good straight road, heavy road. It would take a lot of traffic, and then you'd be run up through Kiwana then. Yeah, down the state road. And then we also, because you've got people that are going to go to Winnemac to go north, they're not going to want to go south to go north, so we'd send them up to 400 north and straight across. And it's a pretty straight shot until you get within about a mile and a half of 35 and the river makes it drop south a little bit. But uh, that's the way the last guy, and that's what I've come up with. It's, people are probably still going to go up to the road close line and then go around the square. And we're going to document all that too with NDOT. Yeah, major damage over the last about the best we can do. So uh, I think I sent you maps of those. Uh, you guys are on board with that. That's what we try to do and we try to divert as best we can. Uh, and that's also going to close State Route 25 right after the 4th of July down here at Mother Creek. Uh, they're going to close that bridge completely. And they've done that a few years ago. So I sent you copy of uh, the road program for that where I wanted to send them around like we did last time they closed it down nine lakes to south and up to 125 east and back up to 400 across. We paid that since they had the last closure so we'll play all the way. How thick did you put it? <laughs> Actually pretty thick. Well, what you did? Uh, it does need <coughs> chip sealed. It was cut up and it needs to be chip sealed. We plan to do that before the 4th of July so that will be done and help preserve it even more. Yeah. If I have your blessing on those two, we'll send you an agreement with them. Yeah. You're good. We're good. Yeah. Uh, while we had the meeting over when Mac on the Super 14 project, A and B um, hit me up about buying the millings off of them. They're looking for a home for them. There's going to be approximately 20,000 tons of them. Um, when we bought millings before off the US 31, I think they were three dollars a ton. They're asking five dollars a ton. Um, are they weighing? Are they weighing them? No, it'd be by the truckload. They figured uh, 20, 20 times a truck would be a rough number. Is that competitive to work with what you'd use if you didn't have the millings? So if I was to go out and buy, some, like for shoulder stone, just say if I used it for shoulder stone, I'd want 73s, then it would be, um, let's see, 73s are 16.25, and 11s are twenty dollars and ninety-five cents. So your third or fourth would the cost you if you're not bought something else. Even you're getting rates. that truck to your shop where you'd have to track that, yeah, and feed that to more money. Yeah. Right. You probably got 25, 20, 25 dollars a ton. Yeah. Yeah. I think that is the way. Is that the way we have? 16, mm -hmm. 16 and 20, between 16 and 20 dollars, however. Okay. But still, we have. Five compared to 16 or 20. Yeah, three to four times as much. You think yeah. you can use them all? I'm good with it. I, yeah. I mean, like before, we didn't use them all the first year, but 20,000 is a big number. 
you know, throw them over if you want. Yeah, that'd be a close haul for them. Your bid's five bucks. It's enough savings compared to otherwise. The nice was still three, but. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> everything was yeah. a lot cheaper then, too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'd say. I'm beating right to the punch as long as you need a budget. Yeah. Are you just doing a, some kind of agreement, or uh, how do they need to do that? Are you good with that, or what, what do you want to do? Last time, we just, just told them to take them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 The contract or advertise or do anything. So that's the way you've been doing it. They've just given it to me. I don't know if I need a motion from them to approve the purchase. So well, they still got to turn in some kind of a bill. Yeah. Yeah. Turn yeah. bill right? well, so I'd say do a motion that says you can okay. give you permission to do it. I entertain that motion to purchase a million off the EB for that project with $5. So move. Second. Uh, what we're talking about, stone and chip <coughs> paving and all that. Uh, Steve Williams from the airport, he had me up. Uh, he was wanting to know about uh, having the highway to do some chip seal over there at the fairgrounds. Uh, basically, from the main entrance around to the pony barns. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. Be on the, the parking lot side. Um, yes, so sir. they're pull into the main entrance, go into the horse and pony section. And I think Greg was on the crew that initially put that in, however long ago that was. Um, and it just curves just a year around. Or two ago. A couple of years ago. Uh, curves around right up into the front of uh, the clubhouse there. So we, I do want to say, I'll talk about it a little bit, but I definitely want to thank um, the county highway for jumping in. We had some not sizable holes, but we had some holes in that um, that they came out and did a little work to before the FFA auction, uh, just as a safety precaution to get them taken care of. So I definitely appreciate John and her jumping to get that taken care of on short notice. I gave them a, a good estimate on what it costs to do it. Uh, chip seal it, then you want to fall seal on Yes, we do want to fall seal it. So you're just supplying the labor. Yeah. Labor and they take care of the way the materials. Well, that's all we'll yeah. clarify. Yeah. 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 Sure. Okay. yeah. We'll charge you a little extra just because it's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Buy them donuts. Yeah. You yeah. yeah. can't do labor, yeah. <laughs> You gotta clear that up, Jerry. <laughs> I bet I can get that. No problem. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 we just do it if we need more soon. Uh, we can uh, make do it to be soon. Yeah. Okay. So we'll entertain a motion to approve the John helping out the fair boys with their drive on the chicken seal and the phone. So Second. All fair. The motion carries through. Yeah. Thank you. Last thing I had for you tonight. Um, getting ready to start mowing again weeks yet. Uh, looking at a part-time mower man, one of our mower men, uh, Gary Shuey, he retired this last year, so uh, he's looking at maybe replacing him with Mike Gibbons. I think that would be a pretty good thing to do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mike. Yeah. I think that's about everything I got. Okay. Well, just a couple of things. We'll start with night one first. Uh, this week is telecommunications week. I sent you guys a message. Kristen uh, and I will be uh, making breakfast on Tuesday and Wednesday and supper on Tuesday and Thursday. So please come and eat. 
with this. Appreciate it. Um, I did talk to this involves Trent as well. Um, I did talk to Andy and I talked to you uh, last Friday about combining and making a public safety board instead of the multiple boards um, like we discussed and uh, we need to do a couple of ordinances for that and drop one ordinance, um, Holly, and I'll bring that to your attention. But uh, with these multiples and negotiation, uh, with all these meetings, I just, we're talking about the same thing at each one of these meetings, so. You want to call it the public safety board, is that what you said? Uh, yeah, our public safety commission, whatever uh, you guys see fit, or we bring that to the table. Um, I did t uh, contact a couple of counties about their local agreements. Uh, Trent did ask last week, and I'd like to sit down with um, Misty and Andy and Krista and I and just go over those expectations to make sure we get that interlocal agreement um, to work on their on their side as what your requirements are, Trent, and, and what they would like to see in that interlocal agreement to move forward, and that shouldn't take long at all. So. Moving forward from that, and then the director summit is next week. That is free training uh, for Chris and I. I know I sent that a time or two ago, but that will be next week. We will obviously share a room, share a ride, and uh, that will be a two-day affair. But that training is free except the hotel cost. So, um, one thing, uh, Megan Oberg has taken a quality assurance class. She has passed that and uh, she will be working with a new medical direction and uh, to enhance her skills as well. And uh, the both new there, I think that will go quite well for her. Um, and moving that part-time to full-time, I did meet with Job Classification Committee. Uh, we will be presenting that tomorrow to council for approval. And Brandy did uh, do a conditional um, offer of employment for that. Uh, with HR and myself and the job classification committee uh, is well aware of that to move forward. So they'll be voting on that tomorrow for uh, Brady Stallbaum. Moving on to EMA, we assisted Columbia School uh, during the eclipse. Um, Rochester schools were in session. I know other departments went to other schools. Uh, we did uh, have a great time doing that, and the volunteers, they were very thankful. Um, and then uh, continued to do a safety school plan with down at Caston School. So those are very, very productive. Um, I will be working with Amy and the pastors. Um, it's getting close for us to meet. Uh, we did have a, more people come to the table after that meeting and uh, to write that warming and cooling shelter. Um, it needs to be for all or not significance, but uh, the plan for these uh, homeless folks or people without a home and so forth uh, in our emergency plans. So that will be moving forward. Um, I sent you, uh, maybe it was last week, the SHSP grant or maybe two weeks ago. Uh, that is up and coming. One of the things, an itemized list is on cybersecurity. I think any kind of money we can get for cybersecurity and, and so forth with that, I think we need to move forward. Um, we can have up to two people apply for that SHSP grant, so, and other public safety uh, departments, so. Would so that be really like you and Travis? Or just uh, Travis may want to do something, I don't I don't know, but we tried and we, we had very good stuff last year and, we were denied, but um, I really think we need to try for cybersecurity because it's 150,000 if you're awarded okay. up to 150,000. It's something that I mean, it's a thing. constant, yeah, worry. And I did comment him in on that, and that will that comes fast and mm -hmm. and so forth. But other than that, I think I'm I'm good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gail. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, Jennifer, do you have anything for treasure? I thought she did. I thought you had a speech to give her. I know. I'm just so sorry. Travis, sure. Yeah. <laughs>
Like usual, I don't have a whole lot. Uh, he emailed the reports out. Any questions on any of those? 72 uh, inmates this morning. We uh, invoiced for roughly $54,000 last month for uh, out of county and federal inmates. Right now, we're housing 15 for Wabash County and 8 federal. Um, Jay Salientes graduates from the academy this Friday. So have him back and ready to rock and roll. He's already completed all his FTO and everything else. So, um, he'll be cut loose as soon as we get him back. So, um, all I've got. So we did do our stellar uh, changeover, our phone service changeover last week in the jail. That went pretty smooth. Um, part of what they've got is uh, it's called broadcasting TV, basically what you got out here, but you can put informational stuff out in the lobby so we can push that out to the, the cell blocks so we can have our inmate rules and everything go out to the cell blocks. Um, and then we'd have different informational stuff at the booking area for somebody getting processed in and then different throughout the lobby for the public. So um, a fantastic feature. All of the public notices that we have to tape up and everything, we don't have to do that anymore. We can just push it right out to that TV, and, and so we're pretty excited. Good. Great. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Okay. Um, just uh, Michael Fletcher. Um, we'll start with Stellar. I went, uh, I just literally got, why are you laughing? <laughs> I literally just got back from Akron. Uh, have their signatures. I'll get Fulton's signatures tomorrow night. So everybody's, all the communities going to be involved in this thing. Um, we're still working on. We've got to the end of the month to get everything in. That's about two weeks from today at this point. Um, so uh, it's just moving along. No details other than that for the moment. Um, the other thing I'll talk about real quick is. Um, I toured the Putts building along with the mayor and a number of others. Um, anybody who wants an adventure, <coughs> go. Uh, <laughs> we went from the basement to the top. There's a lot more to that building than you think. Um, I don't know, we're waiting on an engineer's report on what to deal with it and how, how the next steps are. I don't know if the mayor has any more about that or not right now. Um, but that's Really for it. it. For me, it's been just regular meetings on the stellar stuff. So. Yep. Do you have that updated contract? Have, oh, no, I've got to get that for you. Okay. I've been busy on the other yeah, day. I, I know you are. And I I'll be honest, it's with my mind. You're, you're fine. Uh, no, I'll t I'm out of the office all day tomorrow in an all day meeting, but I'll uh, get it to you on Wednesday. Okay. For sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you Nothing on ready. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Okay. No, I'll get rid <laughs> <laughs> You didn't read Saturday's paper? Yes, I did. Yeah. Good. Uh, I'll hear it officially. Well, we got thirty-five million dollars. Okay. Okay. Out of a request of eighty. Our district requested the eighty. Yes. And okay. here's what happened. Um, the state told us to request seventy up to seventy-five million. We kind of figured that um, following what happened on Ready One, that some of the other districts would not get full funding, which that did prove true. Um, so we asked the state and they gave us the okay to go ahead and ask for about $5 million more for, because we had quite a number of, of programs that we wanted to talk about for Ford mm -hmm. um, it, To me, it's a disappointment that you get less than half what the state tells you to apply for. Um, so what that amounts to at this point is we have what they call above the line projects. And those were the ones that we put into the application. And now what we have to do is go back to another meeting and figure out who loses what projects and come into the 35. What we do is we look at the project, how much it costs, once we get to 35, that's about where we go. Um, I feel very, very comfortable with Jana's project out at the school, the daycare center. Um, the state liked that and actually elevated that at um, our presentation. So uh, I'm sure about that. I don't know where the industrial park stands. We get something. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. 
I just don't know how much we'll get for it because we've got to do some studies before we do anything else. Um, well, what was the highest amount the highest region got? Is we got 35 and four other groups got 45. Uh, if you go to every corner of the state and Indianapolis, they got the uh, 45s. Okay. The rest of them, some of them like Switzerland County, whatnot, they got 10 million. Um, one Just one county got 10 million? No, well, one district. District, yeah, okay, okay. Because okay. every district, it's planning group. Yeah, yeah, district, yeah, district, yeah. District, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so it's just a question of what they are. I guess I'll, I've got a map of all the stuff that um, it'll show you, but we were in the second tier the same way that we were last year, but the difference this time is last time you had Apache Drive. This time we got more money and Maybe we'll get more money, I'll put it that way. And we have two good projects, uh, in my opinion. So actually we did better than the first time out. And that's been complimented to us. Uh, at least we're on the road to doing something new and sure, everything great. Like at this point. So uh, yeah, that's Thank you. You're welcome. There's still lily money out there, we're still gonna try. And I know you're working hard. I'm ready for a vacation. <laughs> as soon as Stellar's over, I'll take her Excuse me, fair one. So I wanted to come to uh, commissioners today. Yeah, that just sounds about it, Stephen. You can move one way or another. But what was it, my legs? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. Uh, uh, so I wanted to just uh, give you guys an update on some of our ARP projects that we are working on. Um, I do apologize. Uh, we've, we've been um, kind of negligent in following up with Christina uh, every month, but we haven't spent anything since uh, uh, well, January. So. Uh, but what we have been able to accomplish so far, um, of course, almost just about everybody in the room here has been to the, the fairgrounds at some point in time. Hopefully you were out there this past Saturday for the fish ride to support the 4-H. Uh, but you went there. I was there for five minutes, and you can ask Jerry why I was not there. Long. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yep, I understand. Um, so one thing that uh, was high on our priority list since those buildings are used quite often by the public is we needed to start working towards replacing and updating some of our tables and chairs. So we did that back in March of last year uh, we purchased through Sam Club some lifetime uh, heavier duty uh, form tables and then upgraded some chairs. We were able to get that done. And then uh, actually January of last year the extension office for as long as I know of, I've been on the board for eight, nine years. Uh, the carpet in there is, has been treacherous and so we were able to replace that and get that updated and made all the ladies in our office very happy. So um, we went ahead in uh, January as well. We had theory construction come and put some new steel on the pavilion that's right next to the memorial wall, right by the entrance of the fairgrounds. Uh, we've got Craig's Welding to make us uh, some new chair racks for the new chairs. And we've uh, the chair racks that have been there for 25, 30 years probably. So we needed to update that. We put in a couple new gates down by the amphitheater entrance on the south end of the fairgrounds. Um, that was accomplished in June of last year, or in May. In June of last year, we replaced the air conditioning unit, one air conditioning unit, and the uh, Smith building by Franger Gas. And then we had Nelson's Plumbing come uh, a couple times throughout the month of June, and they finally got the project completed. We put a new water shut off. Uh, it used to be inside the Quonset hut, and you had to move a couple of boards and be able to climb down and get down there to shut the valves off for winterization. And so uh, we continued to have leak issues uh, in there and then 
through some of the other pipes. So in order to avoid another $1,400 water bill in a month, we decided that we would go ahead and um, replace that uh, water shut off is outside in the building. So it's easier access and it's all upgraded. So um, last project that we, we completed in January of this year was we purchased uh, two new water fountains that will go inside the Smith, the uh, community building. Um, and they'll be standard drinking fountains plus the water bottle fill option. So those are going to be completed um, here within the next month. Um, a couple projects that we have um, we have committed. Uh, if you were at the fish fry this weekend, you would have seen Rochester Glass had just put in two brand new set of doors. Uh, that came in a couple thousand under what we were estimating, which was awesome. Uh, but we're going to turn around and have the front doors taken off, fixed, repainted, so that all the doors are of the same matching color. So, um, at our what? Do you got a total on what you spent on that? Stuff? Did you yes, up until we, I just uh, about four hours ago got the Rochester glass paint, okay. so that one's not been paid. Yet. Okay, but our current balance. Uh, our current spending balance so far, we have spent $32,525.65. Uh, we have available $117,474.35. And then after the Rochester Glass, we'll have um, $109,390.35. Okay, good, thank you. So, um, we have two projects that we have committed uh, to doing. <laughs> One was our bleacher project. Uh, we estimated that cost was going to be 260000 uh, We were able to, after we finally had some, someone that was willing to do it, come look over the project and evaluate it, uh, we are, we've set aside 65000 to complete that project. So uh, that is supposed to start beginning of May, so it will be completed um, by the time this fair starts. So we'll actually be taking the pole three bleacher, bleacher sections and pushing them to the west about 10 feet, pouring concrete walls, because um, the current issue is that the wood walls that were the original ones that were put in the 60s, of course, are collapsing. So uh, they've been getting worse over the last couple of years, and so we're able to that. So at the time, at the same time, we're going to push everything back and make our insurance company happy as well. Because when the derby comes, they'll cringe. Um, well, not the people sitting on the front row, but the insurance company cringes. So we've uh, committed sixty-five for that, and then we've committed uh, about twenty-eight thousand for speaker projects uh, because we need to upgrade throughout the fairgrounds all of the communication. So we're going to do it in segments. Uh, first major one that we're going to push to accomplish is the livestock barn area so that everyone coming and watching the shows, everyone that is prepping their animals and working to get in line, um, they can be able to hear. And then, of course, when, if, when a storm comes through, we can get them to evacuate faster than running around and coming everybody. So, that's our main one that we're going to work on, um, depending on what our quotes are coming in at. Uh, we are working with Sweetwater, and they're going to send a contractor, an installation contractor, to come down to make sure that it's all done right the first time. So um, we're going to get that one done, then we're going to work on the amphitheater, and then um, put all three set or those two sections combined with the main fairgrounds so that everything can be communicated throughout the That's our plan right now. Sounds great. So, um, I do want everyone to put on your schedule July 6th to the 13th at the county fair. Uh, we're going to start off on Saturday with uh, um, autocross. Last year was the first time. Everybody had a great time. At that so we are uh, expanding and uh, we're going to start with that and then we're going to end with a demo derby so everything in between is just general paper but, uh, so.
So that's all I got for you. If you have any questions, fire away. Thank you, James. Appreciate okay. it. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Hey, you here with the uh, so I was going to um, give an update real quick that we did meet with the Women Home Board on Saturday. And a lot of discussion was had regarding uh, a concept called mobile advocacy. We will have a, another meeting on Friday. And so they <coughs> will want to use Fulton County as a case study to see if they can get this um, concept moving. I guess they did this in Iowa. It moves away from the need to put people in shelters all the time and really provide them resources where they're at. Obviously, if you're taking people out of their homes, they don't have jobs, the kids are not in school, and so it's more disruptive, and so they're looking at other ways and because we are struggling to get individuals to Kosciuszko County, to the viewing home, we would be the per perfect um, test opportunity and so I don't know what that entails quite yet. We just got to the first part of it. I'm going to finish reading what she gave me so I'm prepared for Friday but I don't know what that looks like um, from a perspective of the you know, layout or the finance needed or what the details would be but I'll just keep everybody informed to see if there's any opportunity for some of what you were talking about with the specific money to be put towards that. So. I think there's lots of details in my mind that would need to be worked out, but it's a step in the right direction. And the, um, it appears that the director, as well as most of the board members, are um, willing to research this opportunity. So there's been lots of studies done, it's been successful other places. We just have not done it here in this region yet. Good. Pretty, pretty interesting. Thank you. Yeah. And then we'll be meeting on the 23rd of April at 11 o'clock at uh, Combined Community Services to research their independent, the project independence and see what that specific project looks like related to helping coming alongside individuals and in need to um, give them a hand up and not a hand out. It's that more case manager study that I was talking about last time I presented. So. That date is April 23rd at 11, if you are interested in attending, you're welcome to. 23rd at 11. Yep, April 23rd. And it's at Combined Community Services. It's their food bank, so they host this program at the food bank there. So, yeah. Can I work with you with that? Thank you. Anything from Mayor Rudell? Just to add a little bit of what Mike said. Uh, we are trying everything we can to restore rehab the Putts building. Uh, they kind of walked away from it and wanted to hand it over to us. We don't really want it. But, uh, I did make contact with uh, uh, the contractor out of Manchester that had given us a proposal or given them a proposal. So we had a number we were looking at. And in my conversation with them last week, they had never seen any type of structural engineering work on the thing. They just came over and met with Al and came up with a number. On house, and this is what we need, so here's the number. So that didn't work for us. So I did find out Friday there was actually an engineering uh, work done in 22 that they had never seen. Don't even know why it was done if they hadn't seen it. But I did have another one come in from Indianapolis, look at it Friday. Uh, they just sent me an assessment this afternoon. We were late this evening. I haven't been able to pull up my phone. Um, I have a call tomorrow to find out more about what they found, what they think would suggest. To do, but I think the way it looks, uh, rehab is going to be the uh, cheaper way actually than it would be to do anything else with it. I know Monica, I talked with her quite a bit uh, with her uh, attorney uh, Friday, and she wants to remain in there once the rehab is done, so we got to work out that. But I'm hopeful that we can restore it. Is she in there now? She's in there now, but she's going to have to move out pretty quick because she can't, they can't be there while the yeah, work is being done, okay. obviously. So, but, but my plan is to work with her to be able to get her back in there. That's what she wants. So, uh, the other thing he mentioned the uh, industrial park part of the Ready to. We were proactive in this with Commonwealth uh, in March, uh, hustled around to try and put a project 
very, very similar to the project we submitted for A2, and uh, they helped us get a application in by April 1st, it's a federal grant that they had a little more faith in, they did the ready to, and it's a good thing. So we do have another alternative to keep moving forward on that project, and we did make contact with some other landowners that are interested in optioning uh, much needed ground out there to, to keep going forward with it. So we just gotta work out some details, but that's basically all we've got right now that involves the county. So, okay, thanks. Thank you, Grant. Okay. You guys had a chance to look the minutes over for the April 1st meeting? Corrections? Yep. Okay. I didn't see anything. Yep. Okay, you're getting ready to approve the April first minutes. So move. Second. All in favor? Motion carries. Three of them. You guys have a chance to look over the financials, claims, transfers, appropriations, any questions, concerns? I didn't see any. I didn't see any. Just outstanding. Just out. Okay, I have... <coughs> April 15th miscellaneous claims of $346,847.90. Uh, I have utilities, uh, $9,207.30. Uh, the lit distribution, $743,615.80. Surtax distribution of seventy-seven thousand two hundred ninety-three dollars and sixty-two cents. We have payroll for four five for twenty-four of two hundred eighty thousand eight hundred and sixty-one dollars and thirty-two cents. For payroll deduction of one hundred thousand five hundred forty-eight dollars and forty-seven cents. Earned insurance docket for the first. The disbursements for 4 4 to 4 1 of 24 of $21,552.79. Uh, insurance docket for April's fees of $52,219.78. The disbursements for 3 28 to 4-3 of $8,256.75. Uh, insurance docket for disbursements of 321 to Transfer, uh, probation, uh, $5,000 from snow removal to landscaping. We have a highway department transfer, uh, $40,000 from building repair to consult fee. Uh, all our funds cannot be used for building repairs as budgeted and therefore would be better suited for consult fee. <coughs> Appropriation request for <clears throat> the highway. Uh, it's appropriation to cover the schooling fee for Randy Miller CDL and replenish CDL funds for drug screening and federal compliance. $4,670. Okay, highway Department, Bridge Number 50. Anticipated spent for the bridge on the 50 federal aid project was underestimated, but appropriation to cover future current cost $16,640. <coughs> the highway to bridge 
stand or state your name for the record? Absolutely. I'd like to each and every one of you give you a copy of this too. Give it to her if you don't mind. Okay. This is a civil suit that's been filed against Gail, the director of 911. It's a lawsuit for defamation of character and slandering my name. Um, I attempted to be respectful to Miss uh, Gail. Um, she wanted to Put false statements out there about me that were untrue. Um, a few weeks ago, there was a rumor that went around that I supposedly said that Mentum EMS was shutting down. I never once said that at all. I, uh, I was on Mentum EMS for almost close to two years. Um, and long story too short, I had a meeting approved by my chief and my assistant chief, uh, the director of uh, EMS for Mentum. And that meeting was with, he's right under the governor of Indiana, Dr. Eric Yazel. And this meeting, I went to my boss and said, hey, can I, can I set this up? You know, I think we got a potential here for some good things to happen, whether it be, you know, training, funding, or whatever it may be. I'm no longer, I no longer work for the EMS. Okay, I'm gonna stop you, okay? Mm -hmm. Since this is a lawsuit, mm -hmm. and you are stating facts that would be brought up in a lawsuit, mm -hmm. We are not going to try the case here in a public forum. It needs to be done in court, which you have filed, mm -hmm. and you have requested um, a jury, jury demand. Absolutely. And so it is Fulton County's job now to answer your complaint mm -hmm. and then go from there. Okay. So, but it is also it is also the, the citizens here who are you know the sheriff, uh, these workers here. They have the right to know. It's all public knowledge. They will have the right to know in the lawsuit. If you want to continue mm -hmm. and make all of these statements, I guess I cannot stop you. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Are you the uh, attorney for the county, I'm assuming, or? Yes. Okay, that's all right, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. But anyways, as, as I continued on, um, the, the big issues at hand is that these statements were made against me. Um, I had Deputy Derek Holterman was with me today. Um, we had a conversation. And some things that were brought up. One was saying, one was that she said she was going to go to the prosecutor, and uh, she had me on recording and all this other craziness. Well, guess what? I was still on the EMS service, and I had permission from my assistant chief in chief that I could respond to those calls. I had permission, okay, but I had to wait till the EMS truck got there. My last day and my resignation was 4/11 of 2024. Okay, I have no vendetta against the sheriff, vendetta against, I didn't even know her personally at all, like other than talking to her maybe once or twice on the phone. Um, I'm not here to, I, 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 I am a firm believer in being a productive member of the community. You know, I try to be involved down there at the sheriff's department, you know, bringing uh, donuts down there, donating m money to other, uh, you know, organizations and stuff, and I'm about that. But I'm also not gonna let sit back and allow somebody to slander my name, and my attorneys will not either. Um, you know, this is a matter for, um, that just needs to be dealt with. And not only is this matter a urgent issue, this is an urgent issue because it's not just one or two people who are having this issue out of this individual, okay? There's other county leadership without saying names, okay? that are having issues with this individual, okay? She's 
there's other situations I could go in, in depth um, of all the different situations. But where she messed up is when she said that she was going to try to go to the prosecutor and do something. She's not law enforcement. There's, there is a judicial process. Uh, law enforcement has to file charges and so on and so forth. She cannot go to the prosecutor. But either way, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any other public comment on anything? Okay. Hearing none, I'll make a motion to recess. So moved. Second. All in favor? Motion carries. Thank you.